Okay, check out that little sticker there. Look familiar? And here we are at Millennium Plaza. Right next to Millennium Plaza is, uh, you can see the planetarium. It's not much, but it's free. And it's, it's right next to, it's blocked with a building, with what may be the best or nicest park in Cuenca is Parque de Madre. Little interesting statement in graffiti. Juice bars everywhere. Orange Julius, eat your heart out. Here's a bar and a restaurant. La Esquina. Okay, here's one for you. Marketing 101. Face dent. It's a dentist office. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Look at a little tiny pizza. Can you believe this was ten dollars and fifty cents? Here's a movie theater. Um, you'll find that this one shows one movie a night around 7, 7.30. It'll be in English. So upstairs is a food court that takes up almost the whole floor and also the movie theater, the second floor of it. And you see over there a KFC that's also on the first and second floor. And you've probably seen me in a couple uh, other videos where I've had lunch here at Sports Planet. I really like the place. It's a little pricey, but um, it also is kind of like home. Let me step in. Hello. They also have an outdoor eating area. Very nice place. Friendly people. Like I said, it's not cheap. It's kind of uh, sports bar USA prices. Um, so for here, it's a bit high. <clears throat> but it's worth it. Across the street, the Justice Building. We don't want to know about that, though. And right down the second stairs down is the outside entrance to the KFC. Let's walk down there. And here we are, the other corner of the, this is the KFC, and you'll see there's also a second floor, as I mentioned. As you can see, See it here, it's uh, quite large. We should mention to see this motorcycle with a delivery box on the back. Uh, most of the food here, Papa John's or KFC or the food court upstairs, um, the Las Gina, they will deliver to your house. Um, most of them you can, uh, you don't ha even have to go direct, you can use the Megabyte app for your phone and um, there's no difference in price. Another entrance. I'll give you a little perspective. That's the sports planet down there. And the KFC. Okay, I was asked three times this past week about areas to live in Cuenca. 
uh, nice areas if you don't want to live in El Centro, deal with all the hustle and bustle and bus smell. Some people don't want to deal with, although it is a great place to hang out. Today, I had to go to Millennium Plaza, and thinking about these questions, this would be a great area to live in. The Parque de, uh, de Madre, Mother's Park, or Park of the Mother, it's right near the river, almost next to it. It's a beautiful park. It's a very active park. You'll see on any given day people out uh, running on the, the running track around it. You'll see artist easels with people out there doing their painting. You'll see lovers laying next to the bushes making out. Uh, it's, it's a very lively park. And the area is very nice. It's very pretty. The buildings are nice. The, the neighborhood is a good neighborhood. And within three or four blocks is everything you could probably want. Uh, I showed you Millennium Plaza in this video. So there's all kinds of things there in the movie theater, but there's so much more than that. You're a couple blocks away from the stadium. So if you're into football or rather soccer games, it's just a quick walk. There's all kinds of small boutique restaurants. There's shops of various sort. There's a big Tuto Fredo on the corner. There's a Super Maxi right there. You name it, whatever you could want, it's going to be there. It's, it's a tremendous area. I don't like cities, but if I like to live in the city, that would be one of my very first choices. I would highly recommend it. It's also just across the river from El Centro, from Cali Larga. So while people say all the time, when you look at uh, real estate especially, oh, we're a 10 minute walk from El Centro. I mean, come on. I know the place that they're talking about and it's an hour hike. <laughs> this is about, a. 10 or 15 minute walk to Cali Larga, and then a few more blocks to El Centro. It's certainly doable. It's, it's not that far away. So um, if you're looking for a place and you like a lot of activity, then I would highly recommend it. Another area that's, that's quite nice is out near Mall del Rio, right around between the river and the mall. In that area, there's a lot of um, apartments and houses, very reasonable for rent. There's a lot of empty ones, but it's a very nice area. It's, uh, it's like living in a park. There's, there's a lot of greenery there, uh, so that's a good area. I liked the area I lived in before, but it, you know, with the dogs and the traffic and the smoke and all that, it, I didn't like it, but I lived in Edificio Olimpo, which is right across the street from Coral Centro on Las Americas. And right there, there's all kinds of things around there. Uh, various stores and restaurants. It's, it's, a, it's also, a, it's really a neighborhood area. And if you look up the hill, as you go up the hill, and it's beautiful scenery there. I used to do my morning coffee there pretty much every morning and just stare out my picture window for half an hour. But if you go up there, it's not very far, it's Baños. Now there's two Baños. There's a big Baños up north near Quito, and then there's a small Baños. And this Baños has the hot springs, it has the red and green mud, or whatever those things are. I'm not into those, those things, but they're there. And there's a Agua de Piedra, I, I believe is the name, or, or vice versa. It's a very nice place. You can go there to eat, but it's a it's a it's an all day spa. There's swimming pool. There's mud baths and all those things that you would like masseuse on hand, uh, quite reasonable. And and so if you live in that area, you have all of those things available to you. Uh, so there's a few other areas, but those are a couple, two, three that I would recommend that you look into. Don't jump right into them. But when you arrive here, you get a place to rent for a month, not an apartment, don't sign a lease. You get a place to stay for a month, there's lots of them.
eight, ten dollars a day added up over the month. And from there, from your base of operation, you go out and hang out in some of these areas. You go to, if for example, around Millennium Plaza, you might want to spend a week going over there, hang out at the park, hit some of the restaurants, see where the banks are located, kind of get your feel around there. And then maybe another uh, week in another area, and, and do it like that so you get a pretty good sense. And you don't want to just go every place at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You want to vary that up. If you're really thinking about living there, you actually may want to um, find a hostel or a bed and breakfast or a room to rent for three or four nights so that you can actually experience what it's like in the evening. So if you're going to sign a lease for a year, these things are important and it's, it's good to it's good to get that out of the way in the beginning so that uh, you're not dealing with things that you didn't expect for a year. Thank you for watching the video. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments. Um, thank you so much. It's the comments that really fuel this and keep me going. So uh, you've been very gracious. And I will see you next time. You know you could.